Encyclopedia Britannica, an iconic brand whose volumes have lined shelves of homes and libraries since it was first published 244 years ago. Yet the times have changed. People don't page through heavy books anymore. They use Google. And so, Britannica is undergoing a major transformation. It's no longer printing books. In the print, we can only fit so much content. And in the web, we have much more content than can, we can fit on the print. So trying to squeeze all of that content or prioritize all of that content into the print is quite a difficult uh, task and something that takes a lot of time. Our print set can no longer display or, or, or carry the quality of our online databases. And so, with the demise of the print version, the encyclopedia will now be fully digital through Britannica's website and an app for smartphones and tablets. For Britannica, it's the end of an era, but not the end of the company. Now, we've been uh, digital, uh, mostly digital for many years now. You know, we, the company started to have more digital revenues than print revenue maybe six years ago. And since then, the revenue of our online uh, services have actually has grown significantly. The majority of our company's revenue is actually from the creation and providing, actually, e-learning solutions into the classroom, into the elementary and high school market. Consumers already have access to an online competitor of sorts, Wikipedia. It's not always reliable, but it is free. Britannica will have to convince customers to pay for its reliability. Obviously, Britannica is all about scholarly knowledge that is brought to the public through an editorial process. And we want this knowledge to be available to as many people as possible. Uh, Wikipedia is different. Wikipedia is a technology that allows a lot of collaboration. And uh, in, in such a way, it actually grows uh, quite easily with a lot of facts, factoids, truths, and lies, all of them mixed together. You know, some of the articles are of great quality, some others are not. Britannica, on the other side, is smaller in scope. Uh, we can only allocate the editorial resources to those things that are uh, most important for humans to know. So we uh, have a smaller database, but our database is much more reliable, much more stable. We believe that Britannica is one of those sources that you can trust. Even though the printed version is becoming a footnote in Britannica's long history, the company still feels that there's a place for the A to Z encyclopedia in an online world. So the company is growing both in revenue and staff, and this announcement doesn't have any impact whatsoever. If anything, it just allows us to be actually better at creating digital solutions for the general public. For CNN Money, I'm Julianne Pepitone.